Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for my first team selector of the season. Finally, Premier League football is back. It's nearly here. So good to have football back. You know, so many weekends without Premier League football and it, it, it has been a pain at times, but finally the league is back and what an opener it is. Old Trafford, Manchester United, Frank Lampard's first proper game as Chelsea manager. And it, it can be a big test. It's a big occasion, a lot of eyes on it. But my hope is we've had a good preseason and my hope is we can get a decent result um, against the Manchester United side and you know their fans as well. There's a lot of uncertainty, just like with Chelsea. So it should be an interesting game. But here is my team that will start. Now, based on preseason, I think I'm going to go over the 4-2-3-1 that pretty much Lampard stuck with with he has of course tried two up front but I think 4-2-3-1 will be the one he's going to start the season with so 4-2-3-1 in goal pretty simple Kepa great signing last year young player still developing he had some great moments some great performances last season uh, especially with the ball coming out from the back you know that was so essential to our game and I think Lampard is going to use that you know he uh, he's not going to change the style too radically he, we still want to play out from the back and I think Kepa is such a massive part of that and in relation to Spanish United the opposing goalkeeper Kepa is now Chelsea's number one and Spain's number one as well so Kepper in goal, pretty simple. The back four, starting off with Dave, Mr. Reliable himself. Um, Rhys James, of course, still coming back to fitness, hasn't played any football throughout preseason. And Zappa Costa uh, looks like he will probably go out on loan, I think, or be sold. So I think it's pretty simple there. Dave um, has his flaws going forward, but it's still a great uh, head to have back there and quite a young back four. Um, so I think him there with the experience at a big occasion like this, Dave can still pull it out defensively. So I think uh, obviously Dave captain. Uh, back to, um, I'm going to go to back to the uh, Lamps played in the final preseason game, much in glad back, and that is Andreas Christensen, Kurt Zuma. I think this is the two he's going to start the, the season with. We heard, we heard from the press conference that um, Rudiger is nearly back to fitness, which is surprising. I thought it was going to take him a few more weeks, but I still think he's going to go with players who he has played in preseason, and I think maybe the game will come a little bit too soon for Rudiger. So I'm going to go with those two who have both impressed during preseason, and I think he's a decent back two who I hope do well. Um, left back, pretty simple. Emerson, uh, he took the place of Alonso at the back end of last season, and really I've seen nothing since in preseason to change my mind on that, and I think Emerson. Uh, is also a good player going forward in attack. So Emerson, for me, pretty simple. Left back. Moving on into that two uh, in central midfield, uh, Jorginho and Kante. Now, uh, there is, of course, debate over Kante's fitness, but I just think Kante, once again, the man's a machine, and we have even saw it at the back end of last season in that Europa League final. He can just step in. And he's got fitness that is just inhuman at times. Um, so I think, once again, so vital in, in winning that midfield battle. But we have seen Kovacic and Jorginho play together. So I wouldn't be entirely shocked if Lampard doesn't want to risk for fitness reasons and match fitness those uh, Kante and, and starts Kovacic instead. But I will go with Kante and Jorginho at the base of midfield. The three behind the striker. Christian Pulisic, who's looked really sharp since coming in uh, this preseason. I've really been impressed by him. Uh, the number 10, which is the big debate, I'm going to go with Ross Barkley. I think he as well has been Chelsea's best player throughout preseason. I think got to reward him for that. Mount has... Um, done well as well but I just think Barkley has been outstanding in that position and really does deserve the chance to stake his claim at number 10 and uh, right wing I'm going to go Pedro of course too early for Willian and as well Hudson-Odoi is still coming back to fitness as well so that is the three and I, I think that three has operated quite well you know I think back to the Salzburg game those three look brilliant especially Pulisic and Barkley linking up well and hopefully they can do similar against Manchester United on the counter and up front, it's the big one, Giroud, Batshuayi or Tammy Abraham. Um, you can go back and forth on this. There is a, a sense to maybe throw in Giroud because of his experience. But I'm going to say Lampard is going to put his confidence in Tammy Abraham, a player who is consistently played um, in preseason, consistently started, given a lot of minutes to. And I think Frank wants to set out from, from the start of the season that this is his intention. He wants to play the players that he trusts, that he thinks are going to do the job for him. Jura is always such a great option off the bench, even back Shuai, maybe if we need a goal late on. But I think he will entrust and he want to make a big statement early on. And I think that will be playing Tammy Abraham 
in the first game of the season at Old Trafford. So that is my 11 for Sunday. Now I'll pass it over to you. What is your starting 11 for Sunday's game at Old Trafford? It's a big one. I'm sure you guys will have different opinions to mine. What do you think of my starting 11? Do you think it's a good one? Do you think it's a bad one? What things do you, do you think about the game on Sunday? Very interested to hear your opinions in the comments below. So if you did enjoy this video, guys, hit that subscribe button, also the notification bell, so you never miss an upload from me. Also, I did upload my big predictions video for the season. So go and watch that before the season kicks off. Give all my predictions uh, across the board regarding Chelsea and the upcoming nine months, which I'm sure is going to be hectic, unpredictable, emotional, but hopefully a successful and a happy one for Chelsea fans. So thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea, and I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.